So I'll throw it over to Bruce about the Rank Bank. Okay, well, uh, thank you for inviting me to join you. Um, I'm with the Purpose Society. And at the moment, we're actually operating three rent banks. Um, we started with the new Westminster Rent Bank in 2017. Uh, the Burnaby Rent Bank, uh, we opened temporarily in April 2019 or 2020 as a response to COVID. Uh, and in October, we were given a contract to operate the rent bank here in Burnaby permanently. And then we've just recently opened up a rent bank for Pitt Meadows Maple Ridge. So I'm going to primarily focus on, on Burnaby and kind of just rent banks in general, uh, just so that people have a general idea of what they're about and how they work, because not everybody is that familiar with rent banks. Um, so the primary purpose of a rent bank is to provide e housing stability. So uh, generally we are working with people who are already housed and are facing a temporary uh, financial crisis, which has put them in a situation where they're facing potential eviction and not able to pay their rent. Uh, so rent banks, most of us offer no interest, uh, very low fee loans um, over up to a two year period. So we all vary a little bit uh, on the loan maximum loan amounts that we have available to people and um, our approval processes, but we're fairly similar. Uh, and also just in a general kind of overview of rent banks, uh, just within this last uh, three months, there are now rent banks in most of the province. Uh, so we were, there was about eight or nine of us uh, two years ago, and now there's 17. So we're able to support people pretty much everywhere uh, other than very remote communities. So um, the rent bank is a, for a purpose society. Um, we're looking for people, uh, like I said, who have some sort of temporary crisis. They need assistance either paying the rent. So for the upcoming month, or if they have rent arrears to bring their arrears up to date. Um, we also do assist people if they need to move to a new location or if they're presently homeless and have found a new place to move into but need help getting in. Um, so we cover a fair gamut there um, of different um, situations for people. But as I said, we're primarily to make sure that people maintain their housing uh, for at least a minimum of 90 days after we've helped, uh, preferably for longer than that. Uh, so we are presently, the Burnaby Rent Bank is presently primarily uh, funded through the BC Rent Bank, which is the provincial overbody for rent banks. And the funding for the BC Rent Bank uh, came out of uh, uh, budget surplus by the province in uh, 2019. Um, and that funding has been used to, to enhance existing rent banks and their programs, and also to create the new the rent banks in new communities, uh, which is why we're in Burnaby, um, being one of the new communities to receive a rent bank under that program. We also are receiving here in Burnaby um, funding from the city. Uh, so that has also made things a lot easier for us to operate. And we are located in Burnaby uh, at 4075 Kingsway. So basically, if you're familiar with South Burnaby, we are across from Central Park, right where Grange merges onto Kingsway, just before you get to Boundary. Um, so this is our location and uh, we're an it's an independent uh, standing office at the moment, uh, although we're probably hopefully going to be having our housing program uh, in the, located in this uh, office as well. Um, and they provide support for people to help find housing as well as some uh, subsidies and grants. Um, what else do I wanna tell you? Uh, at the moment, Burnaby, we've, since we started the Burnaby Rent Bank, we've given out 12 loans, um, which is fairly good. We're pretty much, Burnaby's now on par with 
New Westminster as far as um, applications that we receive and the number of loans that we're giving, which is a, a pretty good uptake uh, in a relatively short period of time since we've not been, well, we've been operating almost a year now, but not quite. Uh, we're anticipating, of course, growth here in uh, Burnaby as we get, become better known uh, because it's a much larger community than New Westminster. Um, so we're, we're expecting that uh, it'll get much busier as we move forward. Uh, also potentially uh, with COVID and the ongoing changes from month to month and day to day. Uh, so we're kind of anticipating there'll be a bit of an uptake coming out of the province's most recent announcement to close down um, restaurants and bars and things like that. Um, so whenever that those types of things have been happening lately with COVID, we seem to have people that, you know, that it's a challenge. And I think for most of you, if you've been working with people um, with low, in to low to moderate incomes, and I should clarify that, we do support people with low to moderate incomes. Uh, we use the same um, criteria, income criteria as BC Housing, so that's the hills. Uh, so the, that we use that as, as our determinant of income level to qualify. Um, so those are the folks that we're looking uh, to support. And it is solely for rent. We don't uh, assist people with mortgages or other things of that nature. Um, we're also look at the people's overall financial situation. Um, so if they are, have potential other uh, resources that they can utilize, then of course uh, they're encouraged to do that prior to um, getting assistance from us. So we do have a limited amount of capital funding available to support people. Uh, maximum loan amounts uh, here in Burnaby at the moment, uh, $1,400 is the maximum for a single person and $1,700 is the maximum loan amount for a family, which is two or more people. Um, those are relatively low at, compared to market rental rates at the moment. And in our most recent um, ap funding application that we submitted to BC Rent Bank, we have asked to be able to increase our loan maximum amounts to hopefully be more reflective of at least one month's rent uh, at market rates. So um, that's where we are with the Burnaby Rent Bank. Uh, what else should I make sure I tell you? Um, I guess the application process. So with the BC Rent Bank, uh, previously, well, first of all, I should just clarify, all the rent banks in the province are independently operated. Um, we have been a kind of a groundswell um, creation in most communities up until the funding that came from the province in 2019. So we've operated independently, but even throughout the history of the rent banks, we have worked together to try to coordinate to be uh, taking a similar approach to what we support, how we support it, and how you qualify to be supported. Um, so just so that you have that background, that is becoming a little more uh, cohesive as the BC Rent Bank is in the process of creating a whole brand new case management system for us. And so the first part of that system is now up and running. And as of today, uh, the Purpose Rent Banks have joined onto that system. Uh, so to apply to begin the initial application for a loan, all of that is now done through the BC Rent Bank website. And you go on there, you do the apply, and then you click location, and then it comes up with a list of all the different cities with rent banks. You click that, the city that applies for you, and that will take you to the pre-assessment piece, uh, which is a form that needs to be completed, and then that is automatically sent to the appropriate rent bank. Uh, when we receive that pre-assessment, we review it, we uh, then follow up with the person who submitted it, generally by telephone to try to clarify any of the information that might be on there or anything that doesn't seem to have been included in the application. Uh, at that point, we often make referrals to other um, supports. So it might be for food security, it might be for credit counseling, it might be for budget management. Um, those are the most common. Sometimes we're referring people to potential uh, employment uh, supports. 
Um, so those are the most common ones kind of right from the get-go that we're looking at with people. If someone meets the quali qualifications to actually apply for a loan, then they go into a full loan application, uh, which we can, at this point, it's not on the new case management system. So we're using our own processes from before. So we send out a loan application along with a list, a uh, checklist of documents that we need to support that application. Because we don't do any type of credit checks or anything of that nature, we do require bank statements and we need confirmation of their income source, which nowadays usually shows up in their bank statements. Um, and then we go from there. Uh, we need the copy of the residential tenancy agreement and those sorts of pieces as well. Um, and yeah, then we move forward with the person through the loan application. Generally here with Purpose and the, and the Burnaby Rent Bank, um, we're all pretty skilled and we're pretty good at being able to assess the likelihood of somebody being successful to receive a loan. So generally we're not going to take someone through that full loan application and gather all their personal information unless we're fairly certain that they're going to be approved. To be approved, we have a loan committee uh, that meets once a week to review all the loan applications that we gather up. So basically the role of the uh, rent bank case manager is to work with the applicant to ensure that they have the best supporting uh, documentation and understanding of their situation to be successful uh, with the loan committee to have them approved for a loan. At the moment, our loan committee in Burnaby meets every Wednesday afternoon, and it consists of two staff members from the city and one uh, resident of Burnaby who has a past experience uh, working with uh, people in poverty uh, and facing economic challenge so that they have a good understanding of you know, people's circumstances. Generally, uh, we try to have also a member from a local credit union on our loan committee, but with COVID, and I'm sure most of you have already encountered this, almost all the financial institutions have cut back on their hours, cut back on their staff. So uh, at this point, um, we've not found a financial institution that's in a situation to have someone uh, spend time on the committee. Um, but hopefully that will change when we get through COVID. <laughs> um, but we'll see what, how, how that works out. But it is really great when we do have somebody who's coming from that financial background uh, because they bring a different perspective to maybe where we may be coming from, being more of a social work uh, support uh, background. Uh, so right now for that kind of piece with the Burnaby Rent Bank, one of the city members is actually in the finance department. And he is actually pretty good at keeping us uh, grounded and aware of uh, financial um, challenges that we may not have ourselves caught. Uh, so that is the um, basics. Um, there are some more things around eligibility, but as the, the main requirement is, is that there has to be some unexpected financial crisis that's impacting the person's ability to pay rent. Uh, for most people with COVID, it's become a job loss. Prior to COVID, it, uh, primarily most of the situations were around a medical um, where a person had to leave their employment either permanently or temporarily. And that transition period over to whether it was EI or WCD or CPP disability or a, a private um, disability uh, pension. Um, well, with almost all of that, there's a waiting period. And for most period people, um, you know, you, they can't wait. They're lucky that they can manage a month. Uh, without income. A lot of people can't uh, even cover that, especially when you're low income. Um, so that's where we step in. It's primarily to help carry people through those uh, situations uh, until their income stabilizes. Uh, so that's the primary um, basis that we're looking at and, and where we're uh, basically stepping in to help people. Uh, the only other thing to probably add at this point is um, it's we're not really advertising this um, because it's only temporary, but we have received some funding through Reaching Home 
um, to support rent banks within Greater Vancouver uh, to be able to provide um, grants and rent subsidies uh, in addition to loans. But that is something that we don't normally do in a rent bank. And it is something that is simply tied to COVID. So as I said, we're not really um, publicizing that, um, but we do have that available. And uh, we, what we've done with most of those, again, is more of a bridging piece. So for example, if somebody um, is potentially uh, eligible for rental assistance program through BC Housing or uh, the um, SAFER program for seniors through BC Housing, or they may be getting um, some sort of future income, but it's not there yet. We may then also look at potentially providing a subsidy for a month or two, or sometimes three, um, to carry them to the to they get that uh, additional uh, income source. Um, We're at the one minute mark now, Bruce. So we'll have to wrap up. All right. So um, that's pretty much actually all I had to cover. That'll give you the basics of how we work. Um, for those of you who know him, uh, Jazzy is our case manager here in Burnaby. I'm now the, I used to be the case manager in New Westminster, but I'm now the program manager now that we have three different rent banks. Um, so I'm overseeing the operation of all three. Uh, so we have um, Rosemary is our new case manager in New West. Um, and as I said, we also have Pet Meadows Maple Ridge and Steve is our case manager up there. So I guess I'll open it up to questions before I run uh, out I of think time. we probably don't have time on our, on our schedule for Q&A, okay. unfortunately. But Bruce, if people do have questions, they can get in touch with you through the, the, uh, the email and the website that's being provided? Yes, absolutely. And just so you know, I'm taking an extra extended long weekend, so I won't be back in the office after today until next Wednesday. So if I don't respond, that's why. <laughs> that is good to know. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Bruce, for this information and for this amazing service that's being provided for people living in Burnaby. We really appreciate it.